Welcome to this Jakarta EE Quick Start Guide. In this guide I want to show you how you can configure a JDBC data source within Open Liberty and then use it within your application. So I've already prepared a sample application to show you how it works. The application contains just the Jakarta EE dependency and I'm going to use the Open Liberty uh, Maven plugin to start the Liberty server locally. So all we have to do is um, go to our server XML and configure the JDBC driver and the JDBC data source. So the first thing you see here, the PostgreSQL library. So for this example, I'm using a Postgres database. And as the Open Liberty server does not contain the JDBC driver for each database, we have to provide it. So here I have downloaded the driver from Maven Central and put it within the config folder and reference it here so Open Liberty will include this library under this ID and we can then reference this driver within our data source configuration. So in the data source configuration we can give the data source a, an ID and a JNDI name which we can then later use to look it up. Within the data source, we first have to specify the JDBC driver we want to use. Here we refer to our created Postgres library. And then we have to specify, specify some properties for the database connection. Open Liberty comes with some um, predefined properties for several database vendors. One is Postgres, one is DB2, another is Derby. So here we just have to specify some default values like where we can find the database instance, on which port it is running, to which database we want to connect and the user and the password. If you're using a different um, database, you might have to actually specify the XA data source class or the connection pool class. But for PostgreSQL, we don't have to do this. Here you also see um, I don't specify the user and the password in plain text. I'm rather referring to an environment variable. And if you use the Open Liberty Maven plugin for local development, you can actually specify it in your POM file. So within the properties you see here, I'm specifying the Postgres user like Duke and the password. Even though this is not um, this is plain text, what you can also do is like within here specify that you actually want it from your operating system environment variable like this. So even though my idea is complaining, um, this works. So with this, we then have to set a environment variable on the operating system and this would then be replaced. But for now, well, we can live with this plain text user and password. If you then want to deploy it to a docker container don't forget to actually set it so within here i'm hard coding it but if you run the docker container you could also specify it with the minus e uh, command line argument and specify the actual postgres username and password to now demonstrate um, that everything works i've created a jdbc data source verifier class it's within the project and what it does, um, it injects the data source. We look up here for the JNDI name and then print out some metadata which we can obtain from the data source when we call dot get connection and then get metadata. So we should then later see the product name of our database and the ma major and minor version we are using. So to start, um, we have to start a Postgres database. Um, here I'm using Docker to start one, I'm using the official image and just specify the user and the password and they have to match like we configured it and I'm mapping the port to my local operating system port. So let's start the Postgres database. It's up and running and now we can start our Liberty server and see that we can connect to the database. And Liberty started here. I'm installing some default features here. And once everything is up and running, you now see here the print statement we are printing here. And then it prints that we are connected to a Postgres database. Um, and we are using the latest version, which is currently available 
within Docker Hub. That's everything I wanted to share with you about configuring a JDBC data source within Open Liberty. See you in the next Jakarta EE guide. Thank you.